Hi guys, welcome back to Watch With Veer, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing some digital art. Uh, this is something that I have not done on my channel previously, but in today's video, we are going to, well, I am going to be planning out on Photoshop a piece of art that I would like to do over the next couple videos, and so let's get right into it. So I first made a list of items and elements that I would like to include in my art piece. I chose some flags that are important to me and I also chose some landmarks and places that I have visited. I also planned to, I also planned to depict some form of code or coding, but that did not work as you will see later in the video. After completing the list, I exported the layer as a PNG so I could check off items as I drew them. And I also made the items easier to see by adding a white background to the PNG. After getting my list of items sorted out, I started adding them in, beginning with the Rocky Mountains. I plan to have the Rocky Mountains as the background of my piece, and I would add the other elements in front of them. After finishing the Rocky Mountains, I checked it off the list and started on the next item. This item I added to the list while I was drawing the mountains. It is a building called Moata Armories. Moata Armories is a military base in downtown Calgary. It is also home to the Royal Air Cadet Squadron 604 Moose, of which I am a member. I started sketching it out from memory, but then thought it would be best to draw it from a reference photo. I also wanted this item to be centered, so I played around with guidelines to mark the center of the piece.
I experimented with having four flagpoles, two on either side of the armory. The Bi flag, Canadian flag, Sikh flag, and RCAC flag. After adding two flags, I didn't really like the look, so I erased them and added them as banners hanging off the side of the armory. When I finished the armory, I added a really rough and terrible looking Calgary Tower behind the armory. I left this there for a while as I added in the other elements. Another thing I decided to do was have a map of the Bow and Elbow Rivers lightly sketched out behind the armory. To do this, I went on Google Maps and took a screenshot of the downtown of Calgary, lightly zoomed out just a bit so I could see the um, Elbow River just to about the Elbow Reservoir.
after I got the screenshot and got it uh, saved on my computer, I opened up a new layer, um, imported the image, and fiddled around with the opacity settings, and moved the uh, layer down underneath of my main sketch layer, and started sketching out the path of the bow and elbow rivers. During this process I had some technical difficulties regarding Photoshop scratch disks being full and my hand cam stopped recording for some reason. After finishing the path of the bow and elbow rivers, I was hit by a problem. What do I do with all the leftover white space, and how do I fill it? To help solve that problem, I added some clouds around the mountains and removed the Calgary Tower that I attempted to draw earlier. I then completed the path of the Bow River and finished up the clouds and added a sun.
By the time I had finished adding the clouds, I had thought of a way to close the empty space on the piece. The Calgary skyline. I went on Google and looked for a suitable image and downloaded it. I opened it up in Photoshop and created a new layer for this image. Then I used the free transform to make it fit the canvas. and I adjusted the opacity and started to sketch the skyline. As I got closer to the already drawn in water armories, I had to decide. Should the skyline cut out behind the armory or should it continue behind it? I chose the ladder and continued tracing the skyline.
When I had drawn in the skyline, I started touching things up, and then, before I knew it, I was finished part one of this video series. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really, really fun to make. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. If you want to, you can also join my Discord server. It's kind of small, so I'd appreciate it if you guys joined. I also stream on Twitch. I do coding streams, piano streams, and I might do some gaming streams in the future. Links to my Twitch channel and Discord server can be found in the description. Thank you for watching.